<clears throat> well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Deathmark, where we take Mary to the shrine in the woods. So, we've come across something unexpected here, and we're investigating with Mary's spiritual sensing abilities in the forest. So, um, I hope that I s <laughs> try to find everything about this place. Headless Buddha statues are buried in the ground. Creepy! I wonder what happened here! Yeah, that's what I'd like to know too. There's a sacred Shimanawa rope on a ragged boulder. I wonder if that boulder is an Iwakura. I think it means it sounded to pronounce Iwakura. I I don't know. <laughs> What's that? According to ancient Shinto tradition, it's a sacred rock that a god descended on. It's not uncommon for the rock itself to become an object of devotion. Uh, anything can be a devotion to a god and goddess. Everybody always devotes to their <laughs> sacred god and goddess. It's a wooden shrine altar. A clouded old mirror serves as the Go Shintai. Looks like it's true that no one's taken care of this place for a long time. I peek inside the altar just in case, but all I find is a thick layer of dust. The Go Shintai's outside and the altar's empty. That's concerning. I don't think there's any more we can search. The Buddha statues concern me. Why are all the ones within the shrine missing their heads? Shinto and Buddhism were ordered to be separated during the Meiji period. Before then, Many shrines were dedicated to both. Each shrine has much the same. But in the Meiji period, there was a push to make Shinto the main religion. The faiths were forced apart. Extremists stole the Buddhist statues and from their shrines and desecrated them. Oh, the famous anti-Buddhist movement! So this is where... what that happened? No. It was done in a public p space as they wanted to make a show of it. The broken statues were carried here to serve as a memorial for worship. The Kujo family head was said to be aggrieved. So he moved them in secret. It seems that all the broken statues from the H city were buried here. Strange. You said they were worshipped, but this place is pretty much a ruin. You have a keen eye, Lord Cortella. The shrine was subsequently dug up and the statues were stolen. So they came all the way into this huge for forest just to carry off broken... Oh, that's <laughs> my character's voice. So they came all the way into this huge forest just to carry off broken statues? Who would do something like that? That I do not know. I merely heard they were stolen 50 years ago. Around the time of the war. 
So the statues were broken, thrown away, and then dug up. They say the Buddha was a wealth of patience, but even he'd get angry. Could that anger have turned to divine wrath and given birth to the Morgan spirits? Mary, have you been able to feel the presence of any spirits or whatever here? About that. This land is much more foreboding than I had imagined. The enmity, oh, the enmity of the forest swallows all else. It is hard to sense beneath it. So, too much background noise, right? Yes, although I do sense the same presence as Lady Christie's mark. However faint, I am sure the spirit that gave her the mark is somewhere in this forest. So after all that, we were only able to reconfirm something we already knew? Forgive me, I was unable to... You don't have to apologize, Mary. We learned plenty of valuable information here. What do you mean? I'll tell you on the way back. First, let's get the hell out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Maybe it's the ill will Mary sensed. Okay. We leave a shrine walking down the beast trail toward the forest entrance. Maybe it's because of that strange tale, but for some reason I feel like there's Someone is watching us from the darkness of the trees. I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to find something in that shrine. We begin driving back to the mansion. As we break out of the dense forest, I can see the building lights pop up here and he there. Well, that was a complete waste of time. My anxiety lifted. I don't even bother to filter the words that slip out of my mouth. Oh, I don't think that's true. It's all coming together for me. Without further prodding, Christy starts in on her theory, passion, evidence in her voice. I believe Shimio was right. Each shrine is definitely what's causing all the strange stuff in the forest. I'm sure it's those stolen statues. Don't you agree? I wonder. It feels like we just don't have enough info at this point to say one way or the other. But there's no denying that a lot of strange things were going on in that forest. Between all the suicides and Shimio wandering around, I couldn't just... It couldn't be just a coincidence, could it? If, if, we, if we research the shrine, we might learn more about the mock. I feel that's a lot of safer than risking our lives looking for the spirit. Don't you think? You might be right. My replies are half-hearted, which isn't what Christy was hoping for, so, so she falls silent. An awkward, uncomfortable silence settles. Lord Cortella, please stop the car. Mary speaks for the first time since we entered the car. What is it? I sense a presence similar to Lady Christie's mark close by. Things are getting juicy now. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Maybe I'll try to turn on the volume just a little bit. <laughs> 
Following Mary's request, I park in a vacant rest stop on the outskirts of each city. Christy and I step out of the car. My mark is suddenly scalding. Is something nearby? That looks bad. Look! Someone's over there! Oh my god! Uh, hello! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> There's a small girl coming out of the phone box. Why is a kid outside at this time of night? Thank you for bringing me out here this late at night, Ada. I got to talk with Hanayome. Oh yeah? Glad to hear it. Oh, that's it. Uh, a rather young man appears stepping out of the shadows. You got your questions answered, Suzu? Yeah, it's okay now. Hanayome sure is amazing, th though. She knows where everything is. You got that right. She helped me find my limited edition love and hero phone strap I dropped. Ugh. What's love and hero? What? You don't know? They're a popular idol group here. They've been all over TV lately. I'm surprised you haven't heard. TV is restric restricted at home. Mom says it's rots your brain. Oh, Ada, is the bus coming soon? Oh, the last bus is on its way. We better go. We'll be in the big trouble if your mom finds out we went out. Yeah. I'm trying to <laughs> give her a different voice <laughs> since I'm doing the other <laughs> voice for uh, <laughs> Mary. So yeah, <laughs> trying to make it a different tone. And I wish there was like some names written on top of their uh, <laughs> dialogues because I get confused of who's talking about who. <laughs> All the characters' names that I'm trying to not get confused of who's talking about what. And what character it is talking really confuses the hell out of me. <laughs> I apologize for me too. Um, how should I put it? <laughs> Freeze. Try to figure it out. We w we watch from a distance for a while, but it's hard to determine with their relationship. The pain from my scar is suddenly gone. Hey, Christy, what do you think? I turn, but Christy isn't there. Hey, you there! Just how do you know that girl? Depending on your answer, I'll report you for child abduction. Wait, what? Who's talking? Depending on your answer, I'll report you for child abduction. Well, there goes Christy hounding the poor guy. Wait, that was her. <laughs> I don't even know who's talking about. <laughs> Just calm down. I'll try to placate her. But she won't budge. 
Um, I, 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 <laughs> the man stumbles over his words. He looks flustered and overwhelmed. Hey, lady. Don't be mean to a hater. The girl rushes to stand defensively in front of him and glares at us. She seems a lot more level-headed than the flustered guy up behind her. I asked him to help me, okay? I wanted to talk to Hanayome, so I had him come with me. Who's this Hanayome? Oh, who's this Hanayome? You keep mentioning. A ghost who helps find things. Please say th that you can talk to her from this. People say that you can talk to her from this telephone box. A ghost, huh? She looks at me. We're both thinking the same thing. Earlier the mark was hurting, so maybe... You guys look serious. What's going on? He nervously glances between us. Does this scar look familiar at all? I show them the mark on my right arm. Hey, hold up. What is this? That looks exactly like mine! He pulls off one of his gloves and reveals the mark on his hand. It's the cursed scar, yeah? I saw an article on it and Oob Arts Monthly. They say it causes amnesia, even kills you. But that's nonsense. It's not all true, right? Right? Sounds like he'd heard the rumors, but chose to not do anything about it. That's not a surprise at all, at all really. It's tough to believe it's real until your memory loss starts becoming noticeable. I've got one of those too. It showed up on my left wrist when I made that phone call earlier. Pulling up her sleeve, she shows us her mark. They both have the mark, and after calling Hanayome, that's more than a coincidence. Well, we can't just leave them here. Let's bring them to the mansion. We tell them what's going on and ask them to go to Kujo Mansion with us. It surprisingly doesn't take much to get them to come. I thought it'd take more convincing. Could part part partially be because they missed the last bus while talking with us. Before they climb in, I warn Mary to stay quiet until we get back. Might be a bad idea to freak them out. Yeah, we don't want them to go jumping out of the running car if a Mary <laughs> talks. <laughs> yeah, as much as that is amusing, but that would be a bad idea. Boy, would I want to see their faces. First, we introduce ourselves. The man's name is Eita Nakamatsu. The girl is Suzu Moriya. They tell us they met through the reader's column in Oop Arts Monthly. Suzu mentioned she was interested in Hanayomi, and Eita told her what he knew. Then she pestered him into bringing her to the rumored telephone box. They were out this late because of her. Her parents sound pretty strict. 
Her mother keeps a close eye on her after school, and she needs permission to go out. So she snuck out of the house after her mother went to bed. Hanayami is just as famous at my school as Hanahiko is. Hey. Uh, who's talking? Hey, Eda. Please tell them about those rumors. Do I have to? Okay, fine. Eta reluctantly tells us at Suzu's request. Okay, so it was that person's. They're just rumors I read a book. <laughs> I don't even know how to do this guy's voice to do. This sounds like the grudge. <laughs> I'd be surprised. Hey, remember that one story? You know, the one about the public phone box in each city? There's a ghost that looks like a bride, and she'll find what you're looking for. One of my friends actually tried it. He went to the specific phone box and lets you talk with ghosts. The phone suddenly started ringing. He slowly picked up the phone. But all he could hear was this weird smacking noise. He stayed on the line until... Did you see it? He heard a woman whisper. So he did what the rumor said to do and said, No, I haven't seen it. Then she said, What do you want to see? His cat had gone missing, so he asked where it was. When he looked where the woman said, it was. it really was there. So the rumors are totally true. I want to go ask her where my future bride is now. Oh, wanna come with me? This is gonna get interesting. Alright. There. Back where she belongs, sitting comfortably <laughs> at the entrance. I carry Mary from the car and gently place her back on the sofa. Thank you very much. Being in your arms is not bad, but I am most calm when I am here. It's okay, Mary. You don't have to <laughs> get all nervous in the boy's arms. <laughs> the doll really talked! I can't stay here. I can't ex say I expected that. Then does that mean all that stuff about the mark is true, th too? I totally said everything he said wrong. <laughs> I apologize. On the way over, he... We updated Suzu and Ita with just about all they needed to know. They may not completely believe us, but they're not rejecting it outright either. It seems like Ita is particular, has already experienced some memory loss. Something about forgetting the names of anime characters or voice actors. <laughs> Bringing the fourth wall. <laughs> Uh, my protagonist <laughs> narration. <laughs> Christy looked at him strange, but he appears to be taking it quite seriously. I think I do have to apologize. My mouth is <laughs> a bit dry and I'm low on my water. <laughs> Should have gotten some more. 
and Suzu snuck out of her house because she believed the rumors about Hanayome. They both believed in the occult already. I'm pretty sure they'll help us find a way to escape the mark. Granted, they're also really curious about Hanayome. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop right here and continue on because I really think I need my voice to hydrate. <laughs> I apologize. That's why I'm mumbling on my words. I do apologize. So I'll see you in the next segment. So blessed be, show some support. Love you guys. Bye and good night.